Bored apes can cost a few million dollars each. Splinterlink cards can cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Should I buy some NFTs? Which one will make me rich? Today, let's compare NFTs. Bored Ape Yacht Club versus Splinterlands. Even the cheapest Bored Ape goes for several hundred thousand dollars. And early investors have made a killing. But at that price, it's not affordable for most of us. Splinterlands is an NFT card game that costs $10 to start. And packs of five NFT cards are priced at $4. The packs occasionally hold very rare cards that can be sold for much more. Plus with Splinterlands, you can battle other players using up to six cards at a time. And it's play to earn. You get cryptocurrency to play. Per DAP Radar, Splinterlands has over 300,000 players a day. Ranked number one on daily NFT games. You can also invest in the Splinterlands cryptocurrency, symbol SPS, which is currently going for 12 cents per token. Where can I get the token? PancakeSwap, Gate.io, and MEXC Global are the biggest. How big is the NFT market compared to the cryptocurrency market? The crypto market has been as high as $3 trillion. The NFT market is about $3 billion, less than 1%. If the NFT market can get to about 10 to 20% of the crypto market, it can explode by 1,000 or 2,000%. Are NFTs, crypto, and the metaverse cool and fun with lots of potential? Definitely. Will they make you rich? Possibly. This is Dr. Kidwell with 2-Minute Crypto.